Hello, and welcome back to Web Development Tutorial conducted by ACAD Guild. In the previous video, we had learned the concepts of Bootstrap. If you have missed the previous sessions, kindly check in the description part. In this video, we shall discuss about Angular 2. First, we shall understand what is Angular 2. Angular 2 is an open source JavaScript framework which is used to build web applications in HTML and JavaScript. It has been conceived as a mobile first approach. The beta version of Angular 2 was released in March 2014. Why do you want to use Angular 2? Angular 2 is simpler than Angular 1. As there are fewer concepts in Angular 2, it is easier to understand and can update large data sets with minimal memory overhead. It will speed up the initial load through server-side rendering. In this video, we shall see how Angular 2 will help build a very small web application. To work with Angular 2, there are certain prerequisite software that must be installed. The first software is called Git or GitHub. You can download Git from git-scm.com forward slash download by selecting the appropriate version for your platform. The next software that we need is called as Node.js. As we would be highly relying on Node Packaging Managing component, you can download the Node.js by going to the URL nodejs.org and selecting the current version for the appropriate platform. To code on Angular 2, integrated development environment is required. One of the integrated development environments which is mostly used in Angular 2 developments is called Visual Studio Code. This can be installed through the URL called code.visualstudio.com. Also, the appropriate version can be selected for the platform which you are using. Once all this software is installed on system, then visit the URL or create a sample folder or an empty folder and check out Angular Quick Start Seed application. To install Angular Quick Start Seed application, visit the URL which says angular.io. This is the official homepage for Angular documentation, followed by the URL quickstart.html. There is a link which says try it locally with Quick Start Seed. Let's click on that. And this should give us enough information on setting up a local development environment. Angular insists on setting up a local development environment. The Quick Start Seed application is hosted on GitHub and thus the Git software would be used which was installed earlier. In order to check the application in the local system, let's copy each of these lines and try to execute them in the local system. Here I created an empty folder which is called as Angular Demo. I'm holding down my shift key and right clicking to open the command prompt window. Now, let me paste the command that I have copied from the Angular official document, and if I hit enter, that should start checking out the Angular Quick Start Seed application from GitHub. The next command is to change my directory to Quick Start Seed application. When I execute the command, you should see a folder which is called Quick Start Seed containing the code for Angular 2 and its components. Here, I am in the Quick Start folder and I will install the dependencies by executing the command npm install npm. This is a node package manager which has been installed from Node.js i5. If I hit enter, then it will take a while to download. A lot of dependencies are going to read all its dependencies from a file which is called as package.json. I am going to pause video and I will resume the video when all these dependencies are downloaded. Now that I have all the dependencies downloaded, I can open the code in Visual Studio Code by executing the command as code. I can open it by pulling this application or by giving it a right click or I say open with code. And this would open a new window in the Visual Studio. The view that is seen initially is called the Explorer view with a welcome page. The SRC folder seen contains the initial file which is displayed to the user which is called as index.html. In this index.html there is a system input called on main.js. Since Angular is going to rely on heavy use of TypeScript, 
the file main.js would be saved as main.ts. Once we compile main.js, or once we compile the TypeScript file, it would generate another JavaScript file which is called main.js. The main.js has essential components which is going to bootstrap the application. The method defined by the platform browser dynamic, which is called as the bootstrap module, and providing an input called as AP module. This class, which is called as app module, is defined in a folder called as under a file called as apmodule.ts. Let's get back to the app folder, and you should see a file which is called as appmodule.ts. Now, let's open this file called app module ts, and it contains an import for importing the browser module and declaration for the app component, and a bootstrap component again called as appcomponent.in. Angular 2 app component is the first component which is going to be loaded. It can be changed by modifying the value here in the bootstrap module. Let's open the appcomponent.ts file. This file contains a decorator called as add component, followed by the property called as selector. In order to use this component anywhere else in the application, we can specify the selector as my app. It also contains a template like the way we use to define directors in AngularJS 1. This template prints out a value called as hello followed by the content defined in the variable called as name. Since TypeScript relies on classes or object interprogramming, here we see a class defined as app component, which contains a property called as name with the value as Angular. To launch this application, we can execute the command is npm start. This command initially starts the TypeScript compiler by executing the command as psc-psrc. TypeScript scans for any changes that happens in the back-end TypeScript files. If we go back to our Visual Studio code, you should see the equivalent JavaScript file generated for all the TypeScript files. Let's look for the equivalent code of apmodule.ts file. So, the equivalent JavaScript file for apmodule.ts is apmodule.js. If I open this app, you should see the equivalent JavaScript E compiled into its own JavaScript file of apmodule.ts. Once the application is launched, it should open the browser and print a message which says, Hello, Angular. This is because if you revisit the Angular app component.ts, since this is the first component that is going to be loaded, it has the template which says hello followed by name, and the name is going to be substituted by the current value which is called as Angular. Once the application is loaded on the browser, the output would be hello Angular. By default, as per the configuration, the application is going to be launched on the port number 3000. As I said, you are going to see an output which is called as Hello Angular. Now, let's go back to the Visual Studio code and try to modify the code in the app component. I would get rid of this template, which is predefined, and enter some more text in here. Let's put an H1 tag which says Angular Demo. and enter some more text within a div by adding another heading by using h3 called welcome to the introduction video of Angular. Now let me close the new hiding tag. The TypeScript compiler is going to keep a watch on the files that are being saved or that are being filed or that I've changed in the back end. As soon as I save this file here, you should see a log which says that the file change has been detected. It should start compiling the file that was changed. If I go back to my browser, you should see that the changes are already updated, and it says Angular Demo, welcome to the introduction video of Angular. Thank you for watching this video.
Subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest updates and information regarding our courses. Join a CAD Guild now to kickstart your dream career. A CAD Guild. Average is dead.